I'm Yui. Uh, my name is Lily Ju. I was the coach for the Ghana national team for pickleball in this African Games. And this is Kofi. Joseph Echampo, a pickleball player number two in Ghana. Okay, so we Ghana won three bronze medals, which for us is a huge accomplishment. We're playing against teams who have been playing for years, people who have been playing for years, different countries. They've been traveling. For us, we've just started playing seriously in the last few months, less than a year. And um, so one of our top players, Joseph Echempong, will talk about his performance. Okay, so Lily, Lily, Coach Lily was my coach, and she can testify how well we really performed during the African Games. In fact, she was really, really impressed upon our performance because, hey, we just started about six months ago training from morning, afternoon, and evening, and we are, she was really, really impressed on our performance on the game. In fact, we won three gold, uh, three medals, three bronze medals. We won uh, men doubles, women doubles, and women singles. And this is a great performance. I think we need more room for improvement. For we have another 2027, 20, where some more competition we are going to play at what Egypt, and you will see us playing well at the Egypt side. Thank you so much. Okay, so the African Games are over, but nothing has stopped. We've not even slowed down. We've been playing almost every day since the games have ended. Like, we weren't playing because of the tournament. We're playing because we love the game. And so, of course, after the games are over, we're still out here every day. Training. Training. Yeah, we're training every day. We come in the morning, we come in the evening. Training harder. In fact, we have a tournament to play at Egypt. And we are also preparing towards it. And there's a All African Games 2027 at Egypt. We're still going to go and play. So, we are training every day, as my coach said. We are working harder towards it. We love the game. The interest is not high. And people are coming. Very so we're going to schools to introduce pickup all over the schools and community too. So yeah, one of our biggest goals is growing our pickleball community, and uh, it's been it's been really successful. Just in the last two three weeks that the games have been over, so many new people have been coming. They've seen the games on uh, on TV and through the games, and uh, so they've been coming out. Speaking of yes. Speaking of, we play, we have open play sessions here at the University of Ghana at the handball court at the Athletic Oval every Monday and Wednesday evening from yeah. 7 to 9. Exactly. And then Saturday morning at the University of Ghana netball court from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. I mean, no, 10 <laughs> 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Yeah, in it's, the morning. So everyone should come out and play. Thank you. It's open play on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Thank you. So, it is open for everyone. We just happen to be using the University of Ghana facilities because we have courts here. Exactly. But it's open for anyone. Anyone. We encourage everyone to show up. Beginners and everyone, any skill level. Um, we have equipment here. So all you need to bring is yourself, water, tennis shoes, um, something like this. We will, we will all be here. There will always be at least one member of the national team here at the open place. And so you can come, learn how to play, and we guarantee once you come, you'll come back again. So it's a good question. We're actually working on that now. For now, it's free, but we're in the process of developing a club. Um, there will be some. And there will be a membership status if you would like to join the club. It's still in progress, so stay posted. But um, for now, it's free. For now, it's free. Show up and play. There's also, if you would like, to have your own paddle and not borrow. The Ghana Pickleball Association sells paddles for, I don't know the price now, but it's affordable. And so if you come on a day, we can give you contacts to buy uh, your own personal equipment. Yeah, so, so I know for sure there is a community in Cape Coast that is playing. And there's other people scattered around um, but if there's no pickleball in your community and you want to start a club, you want to learn how to play, the, there's equipment by the Ghana, Ghana Pickleball Association. They have portable nets, paddles, balls, everything for sale. So you can buy this, bring it to your home and uh, start your own club. And it's easy to find resources on how to play online. There's plenty of instructional videos on YouTube, on Google, everything that you need to know. Um, so. If you don't have pickleball in your community, you can bring it there yourself. But there's, do you know what, where else there is? Uh, there's pickleball in all the regions now. 
In Takrade, there's pickleball there. In Central Region, there's pickleball. In Uniba, there's pickleball. In Asante Region, there's a pickleball court there. You know, there's pickleball transferred anywhere in the, uh, the regions in Ghana here. So there's pickleball anywhere you find yourself. Mostly in the public universities. We have really spread it out across all the countries. So all the regions, sorry. So you find pickleball anywhere now in Ghana. For now, um, we are going through the Ghana Pickleball Association. So Ghana Pickleball Association does have a website. They're also on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, you can reach out to them in that way. Um, once we get our club started, we'll have our own contacts. But for now, we're working through the Ghana Pickleball Association, which is in charge of all the... the I mean, not in charge. They have relationships with all the pickleball communities in the country. So exactly. um, reaching out to them. And also just showing up, you can be added to our personal community chat that is for people who come out to our open play session. So you come out on Wednesday evening, Monday evening, Saturday morning, and you can be added to the chat and be part of our group at the University of Maryland. Thank you very much.
Dave. He's very light. Ever since you the car, you don't touch the phone. No, no, no.